Hey guys, we're back with some more Sims 4 100 Baby Challenge today. Last time we got our first two babies. We had twins, Brendan and Brayden. I'm not sure what's going on here, but you know, that's the Sims 4 for you, okay? And then we have Myra who is pregnant with our third, potentially fourth baby. Brandon and Brayden are, are feeling pretty good right now, so we're going to start on this skill building. In order to age them up to kids, they have to reach level 3 in all of their skills. So, sometimes the easiest way to do that is just to use these little tablets. Meanwhile, Myra's just asleep. She's had enough. She's been quite a busy bee. By the way, we didn't get a toilet. We can't potty train them, so... We need to get a toilet. That is very important. Let's get two so then they can both use it at the same time. Isn't that so smart? I don't like these bed colors anymore. We're going to change that. Also, I made this bed unreachable. We're just going to rearrange this room for like the 40th time. This is very complex. Okay, hopefully this will work a little bit better. There! That looks better, I think. Sorry, Myra, we're gonna have to wake up because it's time to potty train. Bro! I can't believe you've done this. Do you wanna be a kid or not? Wow, just two bros sitting on the bathroom floor, bonding. Listen to this deep conversation that they're having. We're still working on our cooking skills, obviously. You know, slight improvements are being made, but there's a few techniques here that still need a little work. Wow, we are living our best life. I think Brayden's starting to sass mom. She's not happy about it. He's on to us in our plans. Myra, why didn't you just put your plate on the floor? I worked so hard putting this sink here for you, and you're not even going to use it. We are in our almost second trimester, but we need to start thinking about who our next contestant on the 100 Baby Show is going to be. Um, I don't really know if we got some true candidates right now. Everyone's just kind of partially hates us, so we could try Dominic. So let's invite him to come over. He is here already, so, and I'm going to throw up. So this is perfect. Oh, he's meeting us in the bathroom right after we just threw up. Is this the one who was married? Wait a second, I hope not. Oh, he's feeling flirty. I wasn't even trying to do that. Ask if he's single, because I honestly don't remember. No. This is an awkward moment. I'm just going to let them, I'm not going to intervene. I'm going to let them have a moment with each other. I'm taking no part in this anymore. You can do what you want, Myra. I am not your overlord, even though I kind of am. I'm going to let you do what you want for a second. Okay, are we getting a little more casual here? Let's see who else we could try. We could try Bjorn. No, he's married too. Oh, I should have checked this before we invited Dominic over. So Bjorn is out of the question. Dominic's out of the question. Jeffrey's out of the question. We still have Dawn. We can invite Dawn over. I'm sorry, Dominic. All right, Dawn. Oh, Dominic's leaving. I think he realized what's going on here. Goodbye, Dominic. I'm sorry it didn't work out. You know, I forgot that we have kids. I guess we should make sure they're okay. You know, they're fine. We, we're we trying to make it with Dawn right now. Non-committal. You know, that's fine. In our case, that is fine. Annie's single, so that's good. We're not ruining any marriages today. Another dude just showed up at our door. Spontaneously. Do we know this man? No, we don't. We're about to know him. Johnny Zest. 
But we got a little bit going on with Don, so I think he's going to be our next candidate. And then maybe we can get to know Johnny a little more. I heard you became pretty good friends with Dominic. Yeah, he's he's out of our lives now, unfortunately. Still don't know why, like, I've never met him before, but he just showed up at our house. That is a little bit creepy. Maybe he's been hearing rumors, I don't know, but he just showed up. Paolo wants to hang out. I'm sorry, Paolo. Paolo has served his purpose. You're carrying your child, but I cannot hang out with you any longer. Okay, the strange man is leaving. We also need an actual bathtub in order to bathe our children, so let's sell this. Okay, there we go. We are broke now, but at least our children will be clean. Look how cute. It is two in the morning. We have our little babies just playing on their tablets in the middle of the living room. Myra is asleep as usual. Things are going great. Apparently it's rebate day. What does that mean? We have to buy something worth at least 500 simoleons, which we don't even own 500 simoleons, so that's good. Oh my gosh, Brayden, you're being so terrible twos right now. Brayden is potty level two. Uh, so exciting. We got a rebate check of a whole six dollars. Okay, Myra's getting a little bit better with our cooking here. Brayden's asleep in the high chair. Let's read Brayden back to bed. Bells! We have 24 hours to pay almost $500. We don't even own $500. Okay, let's read this little child back to sleep and then we're gonna have to get to painting because we have a problem. All right, let's get to work. Our bathroom is literally disgusting right now. We're probably about to give birth, and we um can't afford to pay our bills. Twelve seconds later. Okay, we finally have enough to pay our bills. No, why are you awake? What are you doing? Going to eat the leftover fruit cake that's on the counter? That's disgusting. Made by his dad. Maybe that's why he wants to eat it. Paolo keeps contacting us. I'm sorry, Paolo. We are probably going to give birth any second now. Did he just throw the food on the ground? Bro, that was pretty rude. You better not throw this one on the floor. Poor Myra cannot get any sleep. And this is only with two kids. Soon we're going to have seven. Gone into labor. Okay, it's about time. And let's bring Paolo, even though he's probably going to leave, like, the second that we get there. Alright, guys, it's baby time. Paolo's here, freaking out, of course. He's probably going to leave. We have Vern in here with us again. Hopefully he's learned how to work the machine a little bit better this time. Oh, Dominic's here. Awkward. Let's see how this goes. Paolo wants me to go to his house. No. No, I'm birthing your children. Apparently the machine's just, you know, not gonna do anything this time. That's okay, I guess. We got a boy. Trey. We'll do Trey. Trey Grace. Mm. And another boy. We got another set of twins. Okay. This is a little bit terrifying. Jackson. Trey and Jackson. I like that. We've got twins again. Myra literally can't even handle these two. She's on the border, on the brink right now, on the brink of psychosis, and we have another set of twins. So, this is gonna be great. They put our children in the most random spots. Like, what is this? There, that is great. Okay, so we've got four baby boys. We've reached four out of 100 babies. I think we're gonna end this here for today. Next time our goal is going to be to get Dawn back over here and we can 
work on pregnancy number three. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you'd like to see more, subscribe and stay tuned. Bye!